Hello, and we are back after a long hiatus, uh, thanks to the mythic account tokens, or whatever they're called, on Modo. And we are joined today by the lovely Otter Lady. Hello. 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 So we are here to uh, watch through and chat through a league. So I recorded this league last night um, after I bought my token, just to kind of get back into the swing of things and see, you know, how things have changed and whether I can still remember to hold down the control key or not. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, that is the bane of every every Doomsday player in some form. Yeah. So how are you? What's what's new with yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. There's nothing special. U university is very time-consuming, so there's not much time to play. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've still been jamming some decent results online in between when you're able to find time. So yeah, I lost a lot of points with Tess, but psh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Right, so in front of us here, we've got the list that I've been playing and pretty happy with. Um, so for those of you who are used to Doomsday, uh, this would be considered, I guess, a turbo list uh, for colour, despite the fact that the main is pretty much just blue-black. Um, runs an all-island mana base, which is why I can diversify my fetch lands as much as I want. Um, previously I've run the basic swamp, but I've decided to get rid of it because I didn't really need it. And, you know, it annoyed me trying to maximize days. Yeah, so you're still on days? Yep, still That's on days. Great. So a lot of people at the moment are trying some funky things. Some are having to go with Cabal Ritual and going a little bit faster, while others are going for Profane Tutor, um, which is quite a spicy number. I picked up some as soon as it released for casual play, because I love the suspend mechanic, but I was not expecting yeah, no. to see it in, uh, in Doomsday. <laughs> yeah, I, I really dislike it. It's far too slow for my playstyle. Mm. I just don't like tapping out on turn two against show and tell or similar stuff. So. Yeah. So yeah. it's uh, Discord user Fuzzry who has who first kind of kickstarted the conversation properly on it, um, playing it out, and it definitely has some interesting applications with the more controlling builds. So I can see why it can be used, and I also um, managed to persuade some people to burn ticks on trying it out with a bit of uh, tendrils of agony as well. Yeah, I know these people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Other than that, so we're on to three personal tutor. I find four personal tutor a bit too much. Um, three is a nice middle ground. Some people are on two. Uh, only one consider. Some people are on three to four considers. Um, I just like the one for pile building and stuff. And then two preordain. Some a lot of people are off preordain completely, but I still it, it does the job. Um, and then two discard spells, one pact of negation, four cyclers. Uh, and still with an ideas unbound. And I yeah. think that's it. Oh, Cavern Main. A lot of people have dropped Cavern from the main. You'll, I never... You'll, yeah, you'll have to pry it from my cold dead hands. Yeah, it's... It's just my, my backup plan to... To not die of an heart attack... An, an heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When uh, resolving Doomsday against Delvar or... Similar yeah. disgusting stuff. Yeah. In terms of splash colours, as I said, the main is all blue back, um, but in the side we've got both red and green, because I am greedy as all hell. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of people these days just opt for Grixis or Esper, are the two most prominent colours pa pairings at the moment. Uh, Bug green has fallen out in favour quite a lot. Um, yeah with a lot of people eschewing Abrupt Decay, which used to be the main way to fight things like Chalice of the Void or Blood Moon, and that's now been replaced with just a fuck ton of Force of Wills, uh, Force of Negations even. Yeah, or, or P ending, or Pyroplast. Yeah. Um, some people also elect to go for Leyline of the Void as their graveyard hate of choice. I prefer a lighter, a lighter splash, as it were, so one crypt, one surgical. And then just rely on counter magic for the most part to uh, get you through. Yeah, the last time you bullet me into playing your list, I I had very good experience with Thomas Crypt. Hmm. That's good. Um, and then 
a few things. Flusterstorm, extra oracle because it's always useful. Massacre because a lot of people like to play white creature decks and I don't know why. Um, and a chain of vapor as well, just to, yeah. just to as an oops, they might have something I actually have to think of on the table. Yeah, it's still one of the best catch-all answers. Mm. Yeah. So, any questions from you about the list before we uh, just jump into the league? Yeah, I know the list pretty well because we talk a lot, a lot about it. But um, I'm pretty happy, except for the grave hate. But you know. Yeah. I prefer Leila. <laughs> right. So, as I said, I pre-recorded this um, yesterday, so we will skip through to match number one. So, uh, first of all, opening hand. We, well, we win the die roll, which is really nice. Uh, wh what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's pretty slow, but it's keepable if you're not to if you're not on the fast lane <laughs> yeah so that that was my thoughts exactly so it is slow but it has doomsday it has all the money you need to cast yeah. doomsday and we're on the play so we can utilize this days on turn one if we need an emergency stop button yeah so that's exactly what i do i keep it play a fetch and just say go now i have no idea what this guy was on um, especially as they, well, they they play Misty, they fetch, I think, Basic Island, oh. or Snow-Covered Island, and so yeah. my, my thoughts immediately, oh, this is like Bant or something. Yeah, but Bant doesn't play Snow-Covered Lands anymore. Do they not? Correct. Do they not run Coatl? No, I don't believe so. Mm. Well, I draw the nuts, <laughs> which is, <laughs> yeah, okay. you know, Petal. Um, Dark Ritual would have also been absolutely fine. <laughs> it would be fine. It yeah. would be fine. Good enough, I suppose. Um, yeah, and just slam Doomsday, and it just resolves, which is nice. Okay, so... So, first things first, remember your cavern, remember your oracle against Bant. Oh yeah. Now we've got, we've got a deep analysis in hand, which means it might be tempting to put LED on top, but against a Bant deck, I would be too paranoid yeah. that they would draw something or cantrip into something, whether it's endurance or a force. Yeah, so P Pact is always great versus endurance, and yeah, maybe discard to back it up. We have time. Yeah. So, nothing to be scared of. Yeah, and we've got plenty of mana in hand, so we can... That's also true, yeah take it slow. So I think what I do is I build a bra a slow brainstorm pile, which also uses consider <laughs> for for maximum greed and or value, depending on how you want to go about it. Yeah. I would have added pact, to be honest. <laughs> Only days is a bit... It's not enough. In you my see, I, I, I do think about that, and actually I go... I, I opt for thoughtsies. Yeah, that's that. that's okay, but some, some sometimes not enough. Yeah, I mean, my thinking was, thought sees lets me see if the coast is clear to maybe go a bit quicker. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, build a pile, pass the turn. They play some mana, counter a bit. Yeah. Looks still like anything blue. <laughs> yeah, it's a blue deck. Probably not combo. Yeah. I I don't actually find out what they're on until partway through game two. Um <laughs> Yeah. I hate sideboarding in the dark. Yeah. So that is a bit of a spoiler, we do win game one. <laughs> okay. So here I elect to just, you know, play play mana, throw the brainstorm out. Probably could have waited on that, but maybe I would put back. Okay, maybe I would put back Oracle because mm. we know nothing about the deck. Hmm. 
so it's not hard feasible. It's true. They could also be on Doomsday. <laughs> every every card they've played is <laughs> Doomsday <true>. playable. <laughs> so I might just get like thought seized. <laughs> every at... card is Doomsday playable. Exactly. But yeah. Yeah. And I guess you thought seize. I I think about it. I don't think I thought seize this turn because I want to do it the same turn I cast Oracle. Okay. And here, there, there's, there might be some interesting pauses at certain points, because I was uh, streaming to a friend in Discord at the time, so I was explaining. He he, he does play Legacy, he plays Aluren. Um, oh, so bad control. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's it's control that's going to the, the combo side of things, so they're not all bad. Okay. But yeah. No, Preordain is strange. Mm. That's probably... Something with Tell <laughs> or Omni, possibly. On it, that, the, on, as I say, it wasn't on my radar at all. I was conv solidly convinced they were on uh, Bant of some sort. But yeah, so the problem is we would still lose to lose to Endurance here. Mm. Now, if you're a smarter person than I am, which is not difficult. That veil should tell you exactly what they're on. Yeah. <laughs> but all I was like was just, God, cool, that's a that's a ballsy um, <laughs> card to have. And then <laughs> I decided to just jam into potential swords to plowshares anyway. Slash potential. <laughs> but our deck is empty. Oh yeah, that was why. Yeah, because I didn't have a choice. <laughs> but yeah, okay. it, it gets there, which is nice. And so... Versus band control, I'm just like, okay, I want Fluster, I want Rebs, because I, I need red mana, which is good. Basic Island's crap. Yeah. Um, unless they have, like, back to basics or whatever, but you got to disrespect that. And then I just start shaving, like, random one ofs. <laughs> yeah, that's also my sideboarding process. <laughs> I write down a, a, a sideboard guide and ignore it completely every time. Yep, exactly the same. So... For anyone at nope. home listening, you should definitely do a sideboard guide. You should write yourself a sideboard guide because it lets you justify each slot, understand each like card that you have and why you have it. But do not stick to it. Like you don't, you yeah. don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely wrong. Never yeah. stick to it. So here, I also shave some daisies because we're on the draw, and I'm greedy, as I said. So got to throw in Veil vale of Summer as well. This hand is horrible. It it looks always good because it had star it has star grid, but I would wouldn't keep it. Oh, okay. I hundred percent keep it. It's got like they're they're playing the control game and it's pretty just unreal. Oh, I'm so great. You're you. I don't want to spoil it too much, but there's a hand that I keep um in one of the games coming up in one of the matches coming up that a lot of people will just scream at. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So the fun fun thing here. So I'll just. Quickly pause it before it gets to my draw step. Okay, so I'm here discussing... Oh, too late. <laughs> so I, I was discussing with my friend um, how I'm just going to happily play the land and this couple of flowers wouldn't do anything. And I was also talking about how I find it weird how often fair decks bring carpet of flowers in against Doomsday or unfair decks. Um, which is something I, you know, don't necessarily agree with, but I'm sure, again, smarter players than me will understand. So I was like, yeah, they're, they're not getting mana off me until they're dead. And then I draw a Doomsday. <laughs> okay. So suddenly I have to retract my statement as we are just 100% jamming here. Yeah, always. What's the reason why we're playing Tutors? Tutors. We can, yeah, we so can drop, drop take it anyway. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So again, I still, I still think they're on band. I don't know why. <laughs> um. So I again just built like a really chill out slow pile. I've got Oracle in hand, which I think is pretty, pretty safe. Um. So I just play something that will, uh, you know, add add some more mana to the board, get a cavern out. Don't even need an oracle there. Okay. To 
be honest, this position is close to this position is close to an unlosable versus Omnitel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> because they they play Tessa's Oracle cost reduction. They do. Although currently, if they were to play it this subsequent turn cycle, it would be very awkward for me. Yes. But we have enough counters. We do. We have plenty of ma plenty of powerful spells in hand. So yeah. I'm very happy you have to de write our art for undercurrency because in with the god tokens there are so many people playing the wrong artwork. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> So, where possible, on my list on here, it replicates the art or version of the card I own in paper. Oh, okay. So, um, the only one that is different is obviously you cannot get foil weather like Doomsdays. <laughs> <laughs> At least legally, in real life. You don't have Old Border Force of Will? Uh, I do own some old border force of wills. I own two sets of force of wills. Okay. Um, the, the old border one is for lending out. The you can't get old border force of will in Japanese. Oh, of course. So I have new border forces in Japanese. I do actually like the artwork of uh, the EMA ones better than the old ones, actually. That's heresy. I'm sorry. You know I'm a heretic. It's fine. It's because I'm it's because I'm British. I've got no culture. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we play Vault for our turn, pass, and I basically talking. I basically want to use this Reb for something. So I said, right, if they cast a second thing, I'll Reb it. Suddenly I see on pulse, and this is the bit where it twigs that they're on Omni. Yeah. <laughs> it's not until this impulse that I'm suddenly like, oh. So. But why pyro it? Because they're down to three cards in hand, yeah, and but... Pyroblast won't trigger a Veil draw. And yes. And but... I'm planning to just try and win. Yep, yeah, but we can just hit it out. We can, but we're <laughs> winning this turn. Okay. We're winning this turn, and Blue Green Omni has nothing that can stop us unless they specifically fight over the consider there. <laughs> and even yeah. then, yeah. I love to post Doomsday situations against Omni. It's, it's, it's so laid back. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't lose <laughs> because they do everything for you. And you just draw Tassa's Oracle, and, and you draw Cavern of Souls and win. Yeah, and what's what's fun about that match is obviously I completely well I didn't completely miss board, but against normal Omni I'd probably bring in Force of Negations as well, and uh, yeah I'd probably bring in Force of Negations and not bring in Veils would be the main difference. Okay, that this is a pretty interesting hand because it's basically just cantrips and mana. Hmm. I don't know if I would keep it. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a much higher ceiling to what you could get, um, and yeah. but it's it's a perfectly playable seven. It's got that's true mana. Unfortunately, we uh, <laughs> <laughs> suddenly it becomes a very bad hand. So against yeah. Delver, you want very aggressive hands um, that cast turn one, turn two, Doomsday, which are also yeah. resilient to wasteland. This is. <laughs> A hand that has no combo pieces that is very weak to wasteland. Yeah, and days and days is yeah. pretty weak against Devon nowadays, thanks to a certain ugly primate. Yeah. Primate, primate. <laughs> a certain angry monkey. <laughs> yeah. And you know our, our draw is absolutely terrible there. Second days is not what we want. Um, the reason I play the Underground Sea over the Trop is because I need to go as fast as possible and without Ritual. Um, I just have to try and disrespect Wasteland. <laughs> yeah. I thought about the Tropical because 
yeah, I hate playing into Wasteland, mm -hmm. but to be honest, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's there's a reason I I dub my brand of four color zero respect, and it's zero respect against Delver decks. <laughs> so that's fine. They do they don't do self respect. Although this one was actually yeah, it was Rug Delver that which surprised okay. me. Okay, I was like, ooh, the goose is loose. <laughs> yeah, bad Delver. Nimble <laughs> <laughs> mongoose is, is such a shitty creature today. It's incredible. Yeah, so it might have been someone wanting to relive the good old days, but what Rogue does also... I, I've, I've obviously been conditioned quite badly um, in as far as as soon as I saw uh, Nimble Mongoose, I was on the guard for Stifle. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So here I'm kind of debating whether to cycle the Street Wraith to try and see if I can find another Black Source to play, um, but in the end I decide just to throw the drop out and yeah yeah sh sh hard shuffle draw led so we've got the quick win if if it comes <laughs> to it but we still don't have three black and we still don't have our titular business spell oh and they reveal bolt off the uh off the yeah. delver flip but is rack okay it, it's off it's an off meta deck but is rack playing monkey I would assume it was, but I didn't see any copies this match. Hey, that's great. The good old no fetch brainstorm. Yep. Okay. That's, that's at least a future cop copy of Doomsday. It is, however, um, it's a copy that what we'd need to do is next. So we're on 13 currently. We'd take four, go down to nine, and that means with the bolt, with the with the bolt and or street race cycling, we'd be dead if we personal tutored for it. Yep, yeah, but we have Prince Tom. So I I basically elected because because I knew what their clock was, what my speed was. I decided to just <laughs> call okay. it quits. In my mind, we had. Dark Rit, but it's probably not true. We didn't have Dark Ritual. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So, my sideboarding is super light <laughs> for Delver. Extra Oracle Fluster Storm come in, Thought Seize, one Street Wraith goes out. Ah, that. I don't like the hand, but I would keep it probably. Yep. Yeah. It's not great, but if you disrespect Wasteland, it has the potential to. <laughs> Do exactly what you need it to do. Yeah, but it's a, yeah, it's, it's still pretty slow. It is, and annoyingly, in the, in the dark, I'd probably personal tutor for an edge of autumn here, except I have the edge of autumn in my hand. <laughs> okay, but, no wasteland is great. Yeah. So we just need to draw a land or a ritual here, but instead okay. we just <laughs> draw more. We we start playing the control deck against the tempo deck. Yeah, it, volcanic island smells like red blast. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, and so seeing as I'm not likely to be able to do it all in one go, I uh, try and utilize my edge while I can Ouch. to draw the optimal spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it, it, it's just my PTSD all over again. Yeah, and we just keep drawing Force of Wills. Yeah, of course. Um, but they can't wasteland this Lotus Petal, so jokes on them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and so, they can't stifle it, so... Yeah. So I do something here which I wouldn't normally do if I wasn't in this exact scenario where I have only yeah. counter magic and I actually fight over their threat. Yeah, we, we have to delay the game. So, interesting pause from opponent, and we draw Ritual. A double force backup. <laughs> yeah. So I just go for it. Now, there there is definitely some merit to waiting here, just in, to try and find another land so that days could be used, or so we can pay for their dazes. 
Um, but <laughs> okay, they have no days. Instead, I decide to just <laughs> jam and pray. But pausing dark red is pretty unusual. Hmm. Just force on dark red. Yeah. So the nice thing is we can ignore this pyroblast here. And just. <laughs> yeah. I like letting resolve some spells before adding more to the stack. For fluster reasons, yeah, fluster is not an option, but in my opinion, it's a good thing to keep in yeah. keep in mind. Or yeah. So doomsday somehow resolves. <laughs> so we're at turn four. We have no cards in play, no cards in hand. <laughs> And a five card library. I still can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, things are looking pretty good, I think. I don't know. Um, but... And here I'm trying my best to work out how much I can play around Ragavan. You can't. Yeah, I think that's the um, decision I come to eventually, but it does take a while. Okay, I wouldn't pick Street Wraith. Because damage is the only way we lose. If they and if they have Ragavan, we lose anyway. That's true. So you can see me here, <laughs> tink tinkering <laughs> with various bits and pieces. The second Oracle Goat is in, comes out, and I think it comes back in eventually. Um, Okay. And I think my pile does end up being Island Cavern, two Oracles, and one of the Cyclers. I don't remember which. To be honest, I don't think two Oracles are, are good here. Because we can't play around Ragavan anyway. So the thing here is we can play around Ragavan if it doesn't hit us this turn. So if we fade one Ragavan draw, we can play around yeah, that's true. Ragavan. But probably I wouldn't try to. And here I'm playing 5D chess against myself. When <laughs> It's just Oracle, Oracle, Island, Street, Wraith, Cavern. Or Cavern, Street, Wraith, Island, Oracle, Oracle. I think it, I think, well, it's, you want Island first because you want to be able to play that and pass. Yes. And then... Yeah, Oracle and Cavern in some order. <laughs> Again, I, I, it, <laughs> I was definitely trying to sound like like think it through very properly, but as as you say, we can't actually play around Ragavan, so most of what I'm doing here is pretty pointless. Yeah, but I would st stack both Oracles on top of each other, so we can't lose both, and we have to put. The pseudo be between the two lands, so we can we can sacrifice one oracle if necessary. That's what I'm thinking. Might be wrong. Yeah. So I think I put what was it? Island on top in the end, which basically means I'm accepting them if they have Ragavan this turn. Yeah. Then I just lose. And I'm probably also uh, discussing to my friend um, about the fact that we have Street Wraith and they have two red sources and could have double bolt. <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> Which leads into your the point you made, obviously, earlier about Edge being maybe the better option. And there's still Stifle. And there is still Stifle, which we can do nothing about. Yeah, I hate it. Okay, so I did put Street Wraith on top first. Okay, which I would... in hindsight was a terrible idea. <laughs> don't don't do what I do. <laughs> That's a saying I would support. But <laughs> Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do, I believe is the is the way to go. <laughs> it's true. 
And this is why I pre-record these and add the commentary afterwards. <laughs> So yeah, I elect not to cycle here because obviously then that leaves us dead to double bolt yeah. and they still haven't put a threat down, so <laughs> I'm happy just to chill. <laughs> Without Dragoran they have no hasty threat anyway, or? Yeah. Okay. It's very tense, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like... I feel like I could die at any point here, but... Yeah, yeah. and that's pretty close <laughs> <laughs> to the truth, to be honest. Yeah, so we draw Cavern, I think. I don't know. It's their turn. Rock Devil without a threat always smells like... Cypher. But to be honest, I don't know how Cypher smells. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be just drawing lands right now, which is quite good for us. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I did joke about saying how um, they could be playing Endurance, <laughs> and this Delta represents another trap. Please, no. But very unlikely. Very unlikely. Okay. So here we've got the option to Street Wraith into the first Oracle, play Cavern, and jam, but then we die to double bolt. Yes. So. And yeah, they play Mystic Sanctuary as well. Okay. Which goes for Ponder, which is great for us, because it means they currently That's... have nothing. <laughs> it's it's just an it just feels very old school to to see a Dever player struggle <laughs> with their own deck. <laughs> Nowadays, it's just threat, threat, threat. <laughs> Expressive iteration loose. To be honest, sometimes I miss the Dreadhor Arkans days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Like Dread Dreadhor definitely felt easier easier to. Uh... <laughs> To play against. Yeah, that's true. But but bold tread hot trigger bold was <laughs> is still very ugly. Yeah. So here the expressive iteration, which is great for us because they leave only one red up currently. And all we care about now is whether we need to is basically how much red mana they have. Yeah. They play right in our hand. <laughs> yeah. And actually, at this point, it's perfect if they dash Ragavan. So I'm actually praying that they do. Oh. Again, double bold. But we can cast Oracle. Yep, so... Name Wizard, Jam Oracle. Now, basically I'm going to hold up this Street Wraith until they commit red mana into this Oracle. As soon as they commit red mana into this Oracle, I am cycling this Street Wraith as quickly as I can. Yeah. Because then it takes much. them off double bolt <laughs> at my face. Did they fire, fire blast you? <laughs> That'd be even ruder than Stifle, I think. That's true. But the the burn heavy devilists uh, are not state of the art anymore, and I'm pretty happy. <laughs> right tracking is, is just something else. Very intense. It is. But yeah. So our opponent does in fact go for the brainstorm, and as soon as they cast that, I feel like I've won the game. Yeah, because pretty much. That's, yeah, and I think they were just doing a last minute check to see if. I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea <laughs> what they could have. Um, but yeah, we just run it back, same as before. Yeah. 
I'm pretty happy you don't bought in volcanic and plast because I'm a, I hate plast yeah. versus Delva. I against, think it's against, so bad. Against Delva, I stay blue black because the consistency of mana is more important. Okay, I, I, okay no, yeah, it's not a keep. Also not a keep. Yeah, you can see I make some very quick mulligan decisions and just keep getting punished for it. Uh, this one is better than nothing. <laughs> I would put back Fluster, to be honest. Okay, but yeah, they're far, they are far slower than the real Ura mm. Delver decks. Yeah. So maybe that's fine. So there's an interesting decision, but I'll try and pause on it. Um, that I think I misplay in this game. And yeah, our opponent has an interesting hand of Trop, Bauble, Bauble. <laughs> but I, I remember the lower days where, where, where Bauble exploded on MTGO and was about 50 ticks. Or something? That's, it's what crazy. Uh, Dark Red. Dark Red is always great. Yeah. And now we can also fetch an island. Yep. Yeah. Fetch. So, I wasn't really thinking about Stifle <laughs> at this point, <laughs> having not seen it for two yeah. games. I'm still a bit paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> It's fair enough. And we could, could consider right now without playing it into Pyroplast. So I do actually mention how I should probably play Consider when they don't have... Yeah, exactly as you say, when they don't have Pyroblast mana up. But I think I just try and stay patient on it. Yeah. So here I play Consider so that any dazes they use don't get value, and I do in fact just offer up the Wasteland target. Yep, yeah, but why? Uh, do you know what? <laughs> no idea. You had no reason to. It's true, I don't. As I say, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do what I do. Yeah, okay. It keeps getting better, so we can easy PT for Doomsday and even have Brainstorm up and we can Brainstorm this response to anything shitty like Surgical or yeah, I don't know. So, given that we're on a multi 5 against Delver, I'm actually feeling okay at this point. Yeah, feeling but to be okay. honest, I'm mulligan a lot versus Delver. Yeah, because it definitely used to be the theory that as soon as you mulligan versus Delver, you lose. Yeah, but nowadays we can't keep up anyway. Okay, here we go. This is the decision point. So, they wasteland my C. Um, I brainstorm in response. Somehow they don't have Reb. Um, but they do have Dragon's Rage Chandler active now. So it's now a 3-3. Yeah. So, what do you put back here? Okay, we, we have to think about what's our plan. Do we have to win fast? So we have to keep ideas unbound, but the problem with ideas unbound, it's two mana and we are not safe to have two mana available in about two turns. So yeah, and we I are, we are back... currently being wastelanded, so. Yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, but we could put island on top, etc. But I would put back Dark Red and Ideas Unbound. And which one would you like to draw next turn? Ideas. Well, one moment. We could also play, take Dark Red to play around days. So I would say Dark Red is better. It is better. <laughs> yeah. So your first line of thinking is the exact line of thinking I followed in this. So I'll get it going again. Um, but what I should have done is put Dark Rip for myself to draw 
this turn. Yeah. We can't play... Or we, we, we can't cast ideas and bound anyway, because we will never have the mana to do it. Yeah, and we're being beaten down by a 3-3, three, three, and now three, two 3-3s, three, so... Uh-huh. <laughs> it's getting pretty messy. Yeah, so if they have Bolt, we lose anyway. Yeah. Um, but we have to jam here. And if we can resolve Doomsday, then at the very least we have a chance to just try and do uh I don't know. Yeah. We can't we can't do a consider pile. I can't remember what the plan was. <laughs> it was just let's hope to resolve Doomsday. <laughs> So maybe actually it doesn't matter too much because... Yeah, we lose anyway, but yeah. at least it's hope. Yeah, so we let let the triggers resolve for the Dragon's Raid Channelers, fire off the Flusterstorm, and they do in fact have the days. Yeah. Which is great for us because it means I don't have to think anymore on this match. <laughs> yeah. God. I love to play days, but it's so bad nowadays. <laughs> yeah, so that's the obligatory Delver match of the league. Thankfully, oh. we avoid it for the rest of the set. I see. Passes the trophy leader. Yeah. And we win a die roll. Which is good. It's always good. Okay, thoughts on this okay. hand? No. I will keep Fair enough. I guess you keep. I think I do. <laughs> the so, mouse, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the mouse was approaching to keep. <laughs> yeah, so I like this hand because I have land, I have protection, I've got cantrips. I mean... We have one cantrip, to be honest. Hey, we've got a street wraith, that cantrips. Oh. Um, and I have no idea what, you know, I, I I don't know about you, but I never bother looking up my opponents. <laughs> yeah. I know some people do. And, and I'm too lazy. Yeah. But yeah, we're against an ancient tomb deck. So that's nice. Yeah, shouldn't help. Oh. So this is now quite punishing for... <laughs> well, it's, it's punishing, but also rewards the hand we've kept. <laughs> Obviously, you know, a turn yes. one doomsday hand would have been much better in this scenario. But what deck plays Lotus Petal and Shadows of the Void? Mm. Something Urza? So, this entire time, I thinking they're a Blood Moon deck. Yeah, but no Blood Moon deck plays Lotus Petal. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so our hand's not great. We can only utilize one days because we miss on the brainstorm with lands. But we do have consider and we have put deep analysis second from top. Yeah, I love it. So, and they are in fact uh, Big Red, a deck I have not faced in a long time. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I, I played against it. A few months ago, it was yeah. very strange because I didn't know what they were doing. So yeah. I was just sitting there and what the fuck is happening? <laughs> so unfortunately, they have exactly what they need in terms of sneak attack, Simeon Spirit Guide to pay for sneak attack, a Lotus Petal to activate it, and Grizzle Brand. They, they just had it all. Yeah. Um, now what's fun about this is I in fact don't die <laughs> this turn. <laughs> it takes a couple of turns to... Uh, End my suffering here. Not but, enough at Chalice. Yeah. But at least it's on zero. It's not the worst for us. It's, to be honest, I'm not sure I have ever seen that sneak attack artwork. I think it was the double masters one. 
bit. So oh, we, yeah. we, we know what our draw was going to be, and we can't waste time what? on such things as okay. considering. We also... I don't know. I, 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 think, I think I just assumed I was dead, so I was just... Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Doing things for the sake of doing things. I probably should have uh, just click concede when the Grizzle brand came down. <laughs> Yeah, but they know what we are on anyway. Nobody's plays with Wraith and Force of Will. Yeah. Hilariously here, they can't play Lotus Petals now. <laughs> yeah. But they can play lands, so... Haha. <laughs> but they don't find the Emrakul. <clears throat> yep. Yes, but it's only it only give, gives us one turn, so... Who cares? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. God, I hate Blood Sun. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it plays Blood Sun because obviously then it can utilize all the thunder yeah. without the uh, downside. So yeah, they they take game one and we okay. immediately just grab that section of our sideboard <laughs> and <laughs> throw it in uh, along with Chain of Vapor. Yeah, maybe I don't know how the deck looks, but maybe Thoughtsies and Dress isn't so bad against Sneak Attack mm -hmm. if they only have Sneak Attack. Or yeah. are they also playing? Normally, or, normally they uh, play Through the Breach and Trinosphere and Blood Moon. Okay, the, the yeah, full... never mind. Yeah. I don't know about cutting Street Wraith, to be honest. Yeah, it's dubious, but I wasn't. Sh I didn't. Well, I probably should have cut the second preordain. Um, I want to keep Cavern in um, yeah. because they play Chalice, and they can play Reb. I don't think they do play Reb, but they could play Reb. It's true. But we just have a nutty <laughs> seven, <laughs> so almost the perfect seven, I think. Yeah. It always feels a bit unfair, but I love it. <laughs> it's true. I mean, they did unfair things to us in game one, so it's only it's only you know right that we do it back. Is Chalice more unfair than Darkrid? I would say so. Ooh. I think I think having exactly sneak attack, the mana to pay for my days, and then everything to to activate as well. I'd say it's pretty unfair, but. <laughs> Yeah, so we click buttons and it just resolves. I wouldn't expect them to play anything like Mind Break Trap or whatever. And even then, it wouldn't be eligible here. Yeah. Okay, Lotus Petal is a bit risky, to be honest. But, yeah. We... So, what I'm assuming here, my thought process is I don't have to do a perfect pile. Mm -hmm. because they're unlikely to have removal outside of Red Elemental Blast. And if they're a Chalice deck, they're unlikely to have Red Elemental Blast. So I'm basically assuming... I'm also you know, trying to think about what I might need to fight over and whether yeah. I need to cast Days or not. In my opinion, we have to play around Blood Moon or Three Ball or Chalice on Zero. And Lotus Petal loses to three ball and Chalice on zero. So I would play lands instead. Yeah, although because we've got Force of Will Days, we can play around three ball. Yes, but Chalice on zero. <laughs> I think Chalice is, the, is our biggest problem because they can, can cast it through days and they can't cast two in one turn, and we can only fight one. True. But what we can do with this pile, which is why I built it, is we can in fact cast a Lotus Petal, daze it, and use the use the Underground Sea for both blue mana. If we need okay. to. Okay. So that's why we've uh, got this full set in. It's a show-off pile. It's... <laughs> Gotta have some showmanship in your life. 
What would have been so funny is if they had just gone wasteland me go. <laughs> that would have been real bad. I hope they listen to me and play two cellos on zero. Okay. <laughs> Easiest day. Easiest days ever. Yep. Playing it the other the other way around would could have been smarter. So here I'm punished a little bit for the order of my pile. Yeah. In as far as I have days on top when I probably would I probably should have put days on the bottom. I don't know. Uh, if, if, you want, if you want to have early access to it, you have to put it on the top. Mm. Because you want to daze stuff before you cast Oracle, not after. Yeah. So we do just have to pass and hope that, uh, you know, they don't have anything too brutal. And okay. They play something that I'm actually very happy for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we just win. Maybe you should have brainstormed in response. Never mind. Yeah, so you have two mana and all their spells cost three more. So. Yeah, that's true. So. And they play no force anyway, so. We... In my head, they could um, they could exile some spirit guide to pay for force, but yeah, never mind. I think they only had two cards left in hand anyway. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Not the worst hand. It's pretty good. Um, it's got pseudo doomsday. It's got force negation for the turn one help. <laughs> Uh, if necessary, we can yeah. win in turn two. And we're very lucky here that they don't yeah. have a turn one play. And we draw days. So it's all it's all looking good. And I'm still paranoid about Blood Moon. <laughs> yeah, but there's not, nothing, nothing wrong about fetching the island. So once again, we offer up the trade for a Simeon Spirit Guide, which they decline. Maybe we could have days and win. Uh, forced and win. It's true. Um, and I think I did say that afterwards. Okay. <laughs> um, but I am, with, with the Cycler in hand and the Fawn, I'm feeling pretty confident here. Yeah. Maybe at, at the Lotus Petal, yeah. Yeah. So what we want to do here is we want to be able to play around any one of a number of things, whether it's Chalice on 2, 3 Ball, Blood Moon. <laughs> like, we want to have an out to all of them in some form. Yeah. And we even can play 2 Oracle, so... Can't complain. Cost of negation is such a lifesaver. Mm. But it's also also pretty dumb that that we just play it in all all of our just don't lose to bullshit matchups. <laughs> yeah, so it it is interesting how the number of force negations went from occasionally one to maybe two 
and then just ramped up to four as normal. Yeah, it's pretty stuck. Another sneak attack? Oh god, Khan. So, I have a good long think about Khan, and the only thing it stops us doing is using our Lotus Petal. Which we don't need, because we've got Underground Sea Island currently and accessible. And so, I had a long hard think about what was the best thing they could get with it. Probably liquid metal coating or top up. I would say. And they get a trace yeah. But why? Everything else would be so much better. Yeah. So I'm happy with that and I just go to yeah. try and win the game. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Went pretty well for a um, random deck. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know why people play stuff like that. So, look pretty boring. It. I mean, it's got some. It's got the big Timmy factor. Like you can do things like, you know, turn one or turn two through the breach. Uh, World Spider Worm. Yeah, and lose to Fossil Fuel. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, but I guess that's why they play, you know, Trinospheres, Chalices, Blood Moons, because they just, it's tap out threat every turn, is the idea. Yeah, but I don't know, it's, it's so feel bad to invest three cards and just get in Forest and have nothing to counter. I don't know, it's not for me. But it sure has its community. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so... it's already done. So. It's... So. What are your thoughts on this hand? It's not a keep. 100% not a keep. That's good. Yeah, no sensible person would keep this. <laughs> oh, God, I knew it. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I I have a, an interesting habit which has annoyed some of my friends uh, in the past. You like quite, quite rightly, quite rightly. Where if I have what is almost a perfect hand, the only thing I'm missing is an initial mana source. I will just keep it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And fucking Prince. I'm just so creepy. <laughs> It is very greedy. And again, for those watching at home, I would not recommend you do this. Please. Um, for my sanity, just don't. Yeah, so opponent goes island retrofit to foundry. So my first thought is ninjas. Yeah, but could always be blue red saga yeah and i do in fact play out this led because yeah. <laughs> assuming it's ninjas i don't want it to be dazed when i need it we could also be very bad threat mm -hmm, we could or that madness deck or the deck javier dominguez played last weekend mm. it, it's a land and mesh up. Yeah. But yeah, so our opponent plays Tropical Island, so I then think, oh, maybe it's one of those, like, Bant Saga decks. And after two draw steps and two street race, we find a land and are off to the races. So yeah, everything's great. <laughs> you know, we, we probably would have spent, you know, two turns cantripping for Dark Ritual Doomsday anyway. 
it, right? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so all all we've done is just you know saved ourselves some time on the clock, really. Yeah, of course. And playing out lines are damage. Yeah. Oh, I got a server token. Oh no. Yeah. So this was me joking around to see if they were bug ninjas. I was like, right, is this? And then uh, the spell bomb kind of gives it away. That <clears throat> tells you that uh, you know they're probably on a saga deck. And I don't think I've seen ninjas play sagas yet. So here we're just, because they're on a blue deck and it's a fair blue deck, we're just looking for protection. And this brainstorm delivers quite nicely. Yeah, but if they are on the Javier Dominguez deck, they don't play force. Do they not? Ooh, yeah. I, I'm going to have to have a look, look at this deck list, actually, if that's the case. Um, yeah, so we're, we're just cantripping a bit more. We're not under any threat particularly okay but we only draw draw trash so yeah so i think i shuffle this ponder yeah of course let's draw some more cantrips they are only real threat is foundry so that was me uh, just reminding my friend that I need to be cognizant of the spell one could bounce Oracle <laughs> if I go through it in an imperfect pile here. Okay, the volcanic island changes a lot. Yeah. It's... Okay. What the fuck? So I think they... I have seen a rug saga deck before, so I think that's what they're on. So here I just, you know, do some more cantripping and stuff, and uh, hey, oh. find some, some cool cards. Maybe keeping up Brainstorm was an option and using Ponda instead? Yeah, possibly. Um, I don't think it matters because we have the LED. That's true, yeah. So I'm expecting here to jam Doomsday, they fight over it with everything they can, and then I just win. At least that's the plan. <laughs> so they do have forces. Starting good. Yeah. And what's nice about this ponder is we can play around days with it as well. If they happen to be a days deck. I wouldn't expect them to be. But who knows? It's yeah. post Modern Horizons 2. Anything goes. That's true. Yeah, and they have second nice. force, so... It's also pretty good, because now they can't cast Endurance, and we can't just win. Yep. Uh, and it also, if, if it did come to it, which we wouldn't let it, um, we could, in fact, pay for Pact Trigger. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> With the LED. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're just... We're, we're not going to play around anything unless they had, like, main deck red blasts, in which case they obviously wanted it more than us. Do we still have a land drop? No, we made our land drop. Okay. So I think that's what I was checking uh, on the little scroller just then. Because I asked myself that the exact same question. <laughs> yeah, so this is no, no nonsense pile. The only thing is using edge instead of street wraith in case they have bolt. Yeah, that's, a, <laughs> that's always good. And maybe we could have played Pact instead of the second pattern. Yes, we open up to days, but who cares with Pact? And we could play around Red Blast or similar stuff. That's true. That is probably correct there. Yeah, so that's another example, because I know I've done it in one of my videos previously, of keeping no lands and winning the game. Okay. <laughs> you, you still stand to be corrected. <laughs> no, I, I mean, one of the one of the leagues I've done in the past, I kept no lands, and... Well, actually, that one was slightly different. That one was, I kept... It could win on turn one if I got any mana source, and my opponent played turn one Deafening Silence. 
So that was really bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so boarding wise against a rug saga deck that I'm not too familiar with. I wasn't too sure as to what I wanted to do. Um, they don't run Meddling Mage, which means I'm not too fussed about killing creatures. They could run Dress Down. Yeah, so... Dress Down is it's a problem. So maybe I, I maybe should have brought in the Pyroblasts as well, but I figured I would just bring in Veils, see what happens. Yeah, but, but this random Saga Pies are really hard to grasp. Hmm. I'm always unsure what they are playing. Oh, Dark Root. Keep it. Yep. Yeah, so this hand's pretty decent. It's got a bit of protection early on. It's got some yeah. mana. It's and they are mana. already on five. That's also... Pretty neat. Mm. And we catch can fetch an island to play around Wasteland. Yep. I'd be intrigued if they were running Wasteland. I know some Bant decks are now with Life from the Loam. Yeah. Yeah. The meta is pretty much no basics, and, and everybody plays at least one Wasteland. No turn one plays also pretty eh. Yeah, so no turn one play tells me they're probably holding up like Reb or something. Yeah. Um, I decide to cast Ponder anyway because I've only got one land and I've now drawn a second days, so... I'm not too fussed and I, I'm actually very aggressive here. So they do have the Reb and I do in fact do this because in my mind, they have no turn to play other than, like, Torpor Orb that I care about. Yeah, and now we lose the Torpor Orb. <laughs> yeah, but I don't... Yeah, but... I don't think I'm going to respect Torpor Orb <laughs> in general. <laughs> Did we board... Chain? Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, Torpor Orb's like a one-of, maybe a two-of in most lists. If, it, if it's run at all, and if they want to play Torpor Orb, then fair play to them. Yeah, but they mulligan to 5. So it could be Lance plus Torpor Orb. Maybe. Yeah, but it's only one off or two off, so. Yeah, and uh, Saga can't find Torpor Orb. Luckily. <laughs> So yeah, we find a actually very good set of cards here. Um, so this gives us the option to a little slow, but turn three Doomsday with Force of War back up. And now we have an out to that Torpor Orb. <laughs> should it should it come around? Everything goes as planned. You don't have a stop in their main, okay? But still looking pretty good. Yep, so we just cast PT. And just hope for no fluster. Yep. And I think fluster was the main reason I brought in the veil over the revs. It's also pretty ugly wasteland, to be honest. Yeah, so the Wasteland there, I was actually kind of surprised they were running Wasteland. Um, to be honest, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But yeah, we, we jam, because why not? <laughs> They're on three cards. Yeah. And they can't and Pyroblast this. <laughs> but still Fluster. Yeah, I mean, if they have Fluster, again, they wanted it more than we did. So here I'm just hoping that their last card isn't red. Elemental Blast. And it isn't. So once again, we have one card in hand and no cards in play. 
while resolving Doomsday against a fair blue deck. Okay, this time we have to care about Endurance, in my opinion. So, I... oh, you're listening to me. <laughs> sometimes I do sensible things. I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes. I love the li little wiggle <laughs> with the mouse. <laughs> you can you can almost track the uh, what I'm ta telling my friend as yeah. I'm playing this. Um, so. Yeah, I'm basically just discussing what they could have, how many turns I can pass safely, and what cards of theirs I care about. So I think Dress Down would be the one I'd be most scared of. And Saga's pretty scary, to be honest, because the clock is real. Hmm. So thankfully, because we've got this Brainstorm in hand, we can tune it to be a bit more aggressive. Yeah. So that's why we've put that's why we've put Pact at the bottom and Oracle second from bottom because as soon as we draw Island, that gives us then access to the Oracle plus second land quickly. And why did you put the Street Wraith on top? <coughs> Probably just to draw in a little deeper, a little quicker. Playing around Dragon Man. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I was that silly this game. Although, I don't know, does Rug Saga play Ragavan? I don't know. What does Rug Saga play? Find Probably out. Ragavan? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're checking your exile right now. Yep. If I play again against Doomsday, I never check the exile. I will sometimes give it a once over just to get a grasp of what style list they're playing. Yeah, but to be honest, I'm too lazy. <laughs> like, I won't look at everything, I'll just do a quick flash for splash cards or splash color indicators, and then things like um, the key thing, so consider. Ideas Unbound, Cavern, those sort of key points. So yeah, so this is us just going, right, get to brainstorm our deck range. It probably is correct to not do that, I don't know. Right now we, we're basically just on past the turn a million times and hope they don't kill us in the interim. Yeah. That's why the Street Wraith on top was pretty bad ammo. Because you lose two life, that's okay. It's not super relevant for bowl because it's still three bowls, but uh... explosive iteration is so incredibly dumb. It's a very good card. My only annoyance about it is the fact that it's so expensive, it's not worth picking up one for EDH right now. Or it, it was expensive, I don't know if it's gone down. But it was like a tenner, I think. Oh. <laughs> for, for a bit. It's, it's an uncommon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so they play a wasteland. Fine. <laughs> I, uh... And here, I would die to Endurance anyway, unless I bother with the Pact, and they can't cast Rest Down, so I basically go, right, if they have Endurance plus Green Card, so be it. Yeah. And they don't. Hey, it's, it's about 4 to 5 euros. Holy oh. shit. Okay, that's gone down, <laughs> which is nice. But still pretty yeah, expensive Yeah, still, still too much. <laughs> it's a recent and un common, so... So I think this queue time is quite long, so I'm going to quickly do my do my shout outs. Um, so there is some background music playing that is used with permission and courtesy of Idoru, 
who is a local Bristol artist. He makes some lovely electronic music, so please do check out his Bandcamp, which I shall put in a link in the descriptor below. Boom, I can I can do this content creation stuff. And uh, Otter, do you have any socials you want to promote? To be honest, I don't even know my Twitter handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's OtterLady underscore. OtterLady underscore on Twitter. Go. Go. Go follow. Go follow her. For no um, content and at least one deck, li deck list per, <laughs> per <laughs> half a year. <laughs> I basically never post, except for dumb jokes and, yeah, presenting dumb deck lists. Fair enough. Yeah. So, let's use the power of scrolling through a video. So, we missed the first hand, but... Uh... That's pretty keepable. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. So that's that was the seven. Okay, it's a Deutsche hand, but not an Otter hand. <laughs> it's it's not it's not a me hand. It doesn't win in the turn like if you draw one card. Okay. And <laughs> so uh, so you are picky with your bad hands. I am very picky. It, almost all of them have to include Dark Ritual Doomsday or something like um, Land Petal Petal Doomsday. You know, they they have to be one card away from winning. And normally that card okay. is a land. So yeah, we have to go to five here, which is not great. Yep. That's a reasonable five. So I did spend quite a bit of time, relatively speaking, thinking about what to keep here. So I definitely want the personal tutor. I yes. kind of do want the mana sources because personal tutor plus these three mana sources is guaranteed doomsday but i'm also paranoid that they might have something they need to force of will so i kind of want the force of will and the brainstorm as well so yes i think i put back duress misty okay but you could also put back force and brainstorm clear the way with the rest and and have your mana safe for turn three. Mm. But the other way around is also fine. So this match is interesting. So they lead on snow covered forest. <laughs> and no and no elf, so it's not elves. <laughs> Maybe band? Maybe Bant, and they're just... I don't know. Or Omni. <laughs> Could also be, like, lands with the slowest hand ever. Okay. It's also true. So, I, I play out Petal, um, just in case of something like Talia or any shenanigans. And this gets punished quite heavily, so... They, they suddenly drop a Mox Diamond, which is interesting. Which discards Tiger. Hey. And then they go and very rudely prismatic ending my petal. What? So I think it's uh, aggro loam, four color loam, no blue. Okay, you could have brainstormed in response. I could have. Um, don't know why I didn't. Oh, but we find we find what we need. Ne never punched. <laughs> Gotta celebrate greed. Always celebrating greed. Wait, they have nothing? Okay. Fine. Maybe you don't have to fetch here and you can fetch after Doomsday to slim down your pile. Yeah, that is very good thought. So here, I, uh, there's, well, there, there's two options here that we can do. We can either respect endurance and pass the turn. Or we can disrespect endurance and try and win off a brainstorm pile. We could also semi respect endurance, which would be a brainstorm pile featuring pact of negation. Um, yeah. But 
that might not get there depending on when they endurance. Yeah, I would play around endurance, but I'm pretty sure they also play Ragavan. Because I saw some Twitch stream with Ragavan in mm. Far Caralome. I know they used to play Chalice in the main. Yeah. So here, okay. my thought process is, I don't think I need to... Well, I, I was like, right, do I need to force anything? If I do, what's the likelihood they have Wasteland? Do I respect Wasteland or not? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would have wasted you already if they had Wasteland in hand. Hmm. And you have Forest for potential... God, what, what's the name of the one green search land? Oh, crop rotation. Yeah, mm. for crop rot. Yeah, so... And the nice thing about this is, if they do have Wasteland, we can just play it slow and... Yeah. Against Wasteland decks, I really like... Fetch Piles mm. with... To thin my deck without... Having to cast spells. And yeah. still be Wasteland safe. And that was me going... Well, if at that point I'm there, they might have a chalice on two. <laughs> so, Cavern, get in my deck. Because it's free yeah. at this point. So, opponent plays land, which now gives them access to hardcast endurance. Which means if they have double endurance, that's kind of scary, I guess. But we don't get wasteland, which is great, so we just try and go for it. And, and it's still game one, so. Game one double endurance is pretty rare. Yeah, so playing around red blast, or green elemental blast, or <laughs> whatever they might have. A screen element a plus counter. Probably black spells. Yeah. So they do have endurance and they pitch dryad. Okay. And not husk huck. Okay, it's playing around playing around days. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we take game one, which is great. Uh, I'm still not sure really what they're doing, so I bring in the problem permanence that they might have package. Yeah. And then take out the chain. <laughs> <laughs> it, you don't have to solve every problem. Yeah, exactly. No, don't take out the... So don't the take... No, no, that, that was just me pointing out to my friends that we keep packed in for um, endurance and then playing around with okay. cavern and stuff. You can see I'm very resistant to cut preordains. I should be more aggressive in my cutting of preordain, but yeah, I I always hate to get finding myself in the situation where I'm relying on the top of my deck, which is ironic given those hands that I keep where I rely on the top of my deck. But we'll gloss over that fact. Yeah, it's character development. <laughs> it's the duality of man. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so this hand's fine. It's not brilliant, but okay. we can fight over anything that isn't wasteland. Yep. But against a wasteland deck, like or a, a lands esque deck, I wouldn't keep this hand. Yeah. And I would also fetch island here. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So. Um, the reason I don't is because if I do manage to find the Doomsday, I can cast it turn two. That's true. I'm like, oh, Ancient Tomb, hello. Okay. 
That's a bit scary. The old Ancient Tomb Savannah deck into Dryad. Oh, Dryad! So I was like, well, this seems like a good day's target. Could it be the old Titan Triad deck? It from <laughs> about last year? So it's not quite it seems to be an amalgamation of lands and that deck. So Chalice on Zero comes down. Yeah. Which fine. I let resolve because currently it only stops petal. And at and the pet. moment that's a, a mild inconvenience. More force is always good. Yeah. I would probably shuffle. Or maybe put force on top. Then dark red, then days. I think I keep the dark red. And um, probably and probably force. Yeah. Because if we're likely to be wastelanded, then we want to would not have to rely on getting three lands into play. Okay. Yeah. So now we are happy we have force. <laughs> yep. So yeah, we fight over this one because we're being quite constrained on mana. And even more constrained here. Um, so I wouldn't have cycled to be honest. Yeah, that was probably a misplay because we know what the top of our deck is, so we know that we're drawing a, a useless card here. Yeah. The cycle is always cycle is always great to end the game quickly. Mm. And we and we probably want to do that if possible. Yeah. So oh, no. this, this is where Force of Negation is absolutely great. <laughs> yeah, it's time to shine. Yeah, and this, this is why lands players everywhere are crying slightly. Yeah. And end players everywhere are crying. Now, they, they Bajuka bog us here, and that bog okay. is actually quite significant <laughs> later oh. on. <laughs> And again, okay. it, it the it punishes us for having cycled our edge, because we now oh. no longer have edge in the seventy five. Oh no! And I, I, if I remember correctly, that does become relevant. So here oh, we no. can't fetch, because they've got wasteland in hand, <laughs> uh -huh. um, and we we could we, fetch island. We could fetch island, but then we can't cast this ritual. Yes. However, that's how because is. they are tapped out and offering me a way to save my land, I decide to utilize Consider. Yeah, they are just too nice. And Days as well. Oh. <laughs> because our opponent is very thoughtful for what limited cards we have. Yeah. And we draw another fetch, so we can now get Basic Island. Yay! No fear. So it, Finally! <laughs> despite having, you know, uh, effectively two cards in hand, um, and our opponent, you know, rolling on all cylinders with the life from the loam, we're doing alright. And then oh. Sphere Resistance <laughs> comes down. We're still okay, we can still cast Dark Ritual. Yeah, but not Doomsday. No. But when we draw second Dark Ritual... <laughs> now we can Doomsday. Now we doomsday. can Doomsday. <laughs> Yeah, we just play draw, go. And we don't want to... We do not want to offer our underground sea here for a ponder. Yeah. So... We just keep living our best life. <laughs> praying that our opponent... And our opponent does have Valakut. So they are, in fact, the, the Dryad scape shift set up. And look! This, this is where I wish I had a Tendrils in my deck. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is a great storm hand. And they are only at 10. So They are only at 10. Get your tendies ready. Okay, so we draw a Tropical Island here, which is actually really good for us. 
um, because I'm happy to throw that into Wasteland to facilitate pondering here. And we do, in fact, find oh. Doomsday. And a second... And a third land. That's also pretty good. Yeah. So here, okay, yeah. I think... Good. No, that, that was a misclick. So you see there's a slight pause there. That was okay. me having clicked and then tried to undo the ponder. Yeah. And you cannot undo a ponder. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Because whatever. <laughs> so that... that Between the Baju between the cycling of Edge of Autumn, the Bajuka Bog, and that misclick ponder, we lose this game. Oh, collector oof. Yeah, so the, we, we see some things. See Field of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> see collector oof, which is good to know about. Yeah. It's all it's already collected some oofs. Yeah. So here Oh god. They obviously start putting power on the board. We can cast Doomsday, but we can't do anything with it. On turn ten. On turn <laughs> yeah, it's it's a super quick doomsday. Because we had Turbo Doomsday. Yeah, we're a Turbo deck, so we're casting turn 10 Doomsday. With our completely useless Pact of Negation. <laughs> yeah. So here I'm trying to work out how quickly I can win versus how quickly they can make zombies. And I think I'm already dead at this point. I think it's the, because of the Sphere of Resistance, because of the Chalice of the Void on zero, and because they can make two power of creatures a turn. Um, and we have to use Street Wraith, I think we're just deterministically dead. Probably, yeah. Oh, and because of their, their Wasteland as well, I should say. So, um, and also because we put, we, we clicked on the Scalding Tarn over the Pact of Negation. Yeah, um, all pretty these, much. All these reasons, <laughs> for all these reasons we lose <laughs> here. Um, otherwise it was very winnable. <laughs> Very yeah, of course. <laughs> Stacked hand. Yeah. So, uh, it's interesting because a lot of these decision points, like the the edge of autumn, for example, like it seems kind of negligible at the time. Like, yeah. But it it shows how your micro decisions can really impact the long game. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and lost in a pretty much similar situation about a year ago and since then i don't cycle edge without at least thinking thinking twice about it because i lost I, because i had only two street wraith and no edge and had only four life mm. yeah so here now our opponent does everything correctly they continue to wasteland us they continue to make zombies And we slowly but surely realize I... that we're already dead. Yeah, it's the dawn of the dead. <laughs> Our hand is so bad. <laughs> so incredibly bad. It's great, isn't it? Like it's 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 brilliant just how bad it is. This this is like a, a Steven Seagal film, you know. <laughs> it's it's so bad. You're just enjoying okay. it. <laughs> yep, we can still cast Dark Red. It's still better. <laughs> <Steven Seagal. laughs> Maybe more like Rocky Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. W waste landing is hard. I, I, I am unsure as to what the opponent was thinking about here. Oh, whether to dredge loam or not. That was what they were thinking. So they do have Knight of the Reliquary as well, which is good to know about. Hey. So we get a lot of information from this situation. <laughs> so th this is me saying, hey, we could totally just pack this <laughs> because there's nothing else we could do. And it wouldn't matter because Chalice in the Void. <laughs> <laughs> my head you <laughs> there are wild gestures in front of a pc monitor <laughs> yeah so I, yeah there we go thank you thank you past me for dragging it on way longer than you should have 
So here I, I think I click submit and then I change my mind and bring an extra street race in. Although I can't remember what I take out if I do. Maybe days. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. A very, a very quick, uh, cheeky switcheroo. Yeah, we, we, it will change the whole matchup. Yeah. So here I'm looking at his hand and it's okay. I wouldn't keep, to be honest. No. And this hand is. <laughs> oh, God. It's, I mean, if we had. If, like, days was a ritual. No, even then, even then, no, 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 <laughs> what am I saying? No, I wouldn't. No, we, we have to throw that away. But this one's good. I don't know why, but it's keepable. Yeah. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we're basically all in on turn one doomsday, pass. Okay, I would also keep Honda. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do have the second Oracle brought in, so we can pitch Oracle if we want to do. And maybe but that was ten... correct, actually. On turn one, there won't be much yeah. for them to do, it, to do anyway, so we could... Yeah, so here I, I really struggled to think what I wanted to do, because we have seen Ancient Tomb, Sphere of Resistance... We've seen Wasteland, we've seen Endurance, we've seen Collector Oof, we've seen Talia, we've seen uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. Okay. Um, uh, Chalice as well. So yeah. I'm like, right, which of these can I play around? <laughs> we have at least three to four cards that must be in the pile. Island, Cavern, Oracle, and maybe Fetch. And Pact, I don't know. I think Pact uh, maybe should have been second Oracle. Probably. Because that's how we beat Endurance easier. We just keep casting more Oracles. Yeah, and we don't lose to Chalice on Zero. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Pact should have been Oracle. Um, and yeah, this... <laughs> There's a decision point coming up here, which I'm intrigued. So I, our opponent, that was me telling my friend, because our opponent was just waiting on the clock, that I think they were looking through our doomsday pile, uh, our deck even. Because they were taking a while. Um, and yeah, so our opponent, I yeah, our opponent messages us saying art force of will, which... I don't know what they mean, and they don't expand on that later. So we ignore that for now. <laughs> it's probably in either about old border or about persons we don't talk about. Hmm. Yeah. Because I don't use TN artworks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that's a, you do make a good point, though. I do need to make one change to my deck on... The god token is I now run the old border ponders. That is oh. a that is a change I need to make if the token allows it. To be honest, I don't know. Okay. I don't even know why I bought the token. I have all the stuff I need <laughs> anyway. But never mind. Yeah. So Maybe they, 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 they wasteland us, um, which is fine. We can yeah. play around wasteland, and then they do something a little interesting. Um, Search okay? No. Not in this instance. So they, they wait a long time. Um, now, interestingly, so this is me. Um, interestingly, we started this game, I think, with a deficit of about five minutes on the clock to them. Maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, and <laughs> as, it, as it goes through... <laughs> Uh, that do, that evens out quite rapidly. Yeah, they're they're probably still writing their art critic piece about Fuzz of Will. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They're they're putting the uh, the aggro into aggro loam. 
aggressively staring. <laughs> yeah. So to be honest, Modo would much be would would be a, a lot funnier with webcams instead of avatars. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so th this is the interesting bit. So they go mock stone and mock stone, and then. Okay, there's please a, not another sphere. Little pause. Yeah, if if it's sphere, we have to fawn it because we only have two mana sources on our deck that make mana. I should say we've got three lands, but only two of them make mana. Yeah, but okay, maybe it's three mana sources minus one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then I was laughing and saying if they endurance us, that adds the third mana source back in. <laughs> so here we go. So they cast Sylvan. Oh. Three. So they, they have just thrown almost their entire hand down and are casting Sylvan Library. Do you force this or not? Okay, that's pretty interesting. Because mm. it's a line that happens pretty often, especially against lands or similar decks. Yeah. So they have at least two to four spheres, endurance, and we can't beat Endurance. Oh, ne no, we have Pact. Okay, we can beat Endurance. But they have so many looks. If we have to draw our whole decks, deck, I would probably force it. Okay. So... As we only have one answer. Yeah. So in which case, maybe then this is another key misplay point. So I elect to keep it because I'm just so paranoid about other... <laughs> Elements of their deck. Um, that, yeah. I just... Problem is they have so many draws. So what I probably should have done here is fetch the basic island and pondered. And then put the pact in my hand. So that way I could still hold up force of negation for um, sphere. But I also progress my pile by two cards. Yeah. So here, they green suns for Dryad Arbor. Okay. So we are we are fine with this. They still have no land. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have endurance, to be honest. Yeah. So again, I should probably fetch the island and ponder here. But I don't. I think, I, I can't remember, but I think at some point I do forget that I have packed in my pile. Like, I know at one point I draw a card, and I'm surprised that it's that particular card. Packed? <laughs> yeah, so there's, yeah, th this match, there was a lot of errors, but it was, oh, you could tell it was the last match of the night, and it was getting yeah. quite late. <laughs> So I always oops, yeah. carry on. Nothing important. Okay. So this this is why ever again, everyone at home, um, doing league reviews or game reviews is a very useful tool. Um, because you might think that your play was reasonably tight or you know, you're making good decisions, but actually it turns out you were just playing like an ape. <laughs> and you know, misplaying here. Because I you know, from watching it back, I even just if it was by myself, I could already identify a number of potential improvements I could make. And then with another helpful person, especially a knowledgeable one like Otta, um, oh. ooh, I know, um, you know, it does increase the effectiveness of that. So I know uh, Goldrick, um, Albert, has been doing league reviews on his stream on Twitch which is interesting because previously he he just did um sort of league running as a lot of people do but recently he has been doing league reviews which is interesting yeah i'm always too lazy to do it but i should to be honest mm. that taking pretty long to draw three cards yeah so here i was debating if there's any reason for them not to take eight no. Again. <laughs> Tendrils. Um, and they actually don't take anything on this turn cycle, so okay. the cards they drew must have been really bad. Or All they already had really... everything they needed in hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So this it... is Green Suns for Endurance. Yeah. And that's a big problem. Yeah. So I think in my head, the next card of the pile was going to be Cavern of Souls. But it isn't, it's packed. It's packed. Yeah. And this, again, is another point of misplay. So here, if I had put Cavern in the right place or remembered that the fact was here, so fetch to get the 50-50, then we could have tried to win that turn as well. Yeah. And now we lose to Sphere? Uh, not Sphere. Blood Moon? <laughs> not Blood Moon. Blood Sun? <laughs> There's a lot of things we could lose to here. Yeah, that's true. Um, but it turns out, in the end, we lost to ourselves. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sad story. Yeah. And again, um, you saw our opponent fetch last turn, so they have a completely fresh set of cards to look at with Sylvan. So again, it's what reason could they have to not take eight at any given point? Take out you take eight, you coward. That's the Okay, the motor clock does whatever. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> so again, they take nothing, which is scary, and they have... Questing Beast? <laughs> I mean, they could have Green Suns for Questing Beast, but no, they Green Suns for Endurance. Um, so yeah. So here we're now on quite a fast clock, in fact. In fact, we die in two turns because of this Dried Arbor attack. So we need to try and get our library down quick enough. So I know my next card's Cavern. I've got a fetchable land in play. I don't... So here I had a debate. So you can see me, me hovering over Cavern. So whether I should have played Cavern there or not. So we've got the Underground Sea that we previously had had Wastelanded back in the deck. So we do have three total mana sources, so we can beat Sphere of Resistance. So it's whether we try and beat Sphere of Resistance or Wasteland and gamble on beating Wasteland. Because we could, we could beat Wasteland if we fetch one of the lands and then hope to draw the other one. So, would you have played Cavern there or not, is the no. question. No. Because I, we don't know how many fears they have, but they have four Wastelands, I guess that's set. And, and Life from the Lone with a Wasteland in their graveyard. Oh, yeah, that's also true. And they could have casted Sphere long ago if they had one, and they also didn't took eight. Hmm. So, Yeah, it's, it's a possible line. But I hate endurance so much. <laughs> and also the naming of the free elementals, I don't know. It's not the most original. Okay. Uh, now pray. Yeah, so we're fine with Valakut Exploration. Um, it's basically another Sylvan Library, but with... And it doesn't increase the clock at all. Unless they get really lucky with, like, fetch, land, into crop rotation, fetch, land. So they exile two things that we're not too fussed about. And then they play Sphere. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> so here I think we are just dead because we need to win the next turn 
and yep. we cannot get the three mana that we need yep. to cast Oracle. It's pretty much over. So this is me just thinking, do I have an out? And then doing the thing you should never do, which is the equivalent of checking your deck to see what would happen or what you would draw. Yeah, it's... it's yeah. And I think I, the other reason I think I was explaining why this, like, why maybe we should have played Cavern to my friend, um, because of the chance. So I think, yeah, hover over that. I go, I, I, I just try the line. Yeah, Molo is packed, so <laughs> yep. can at least try it. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. So... Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. you know, it's it's a fine result. Um, the Delver match, the, obviously, I what I thought was a significant misplay wasn't actually too bad. Um, but, you know, the, uh, the fifth match there against the four-color lands pile, there were a lot of mistakes made. That yeah. could have easily turned it into a, a 2 0 game or a 2 1 game. Against all the endurance decks, if you fuck up game two, you lose game three for sure. Mm. It's all. The tilt carries on. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure, yeah, as I say, I'm not sure whether it was tilt, but it, there were definitely some decisions there. Like, for example, the pact over cavern slash the not fetch before to change the order of pact in cavern. That, that one is significant because. Again, it's it's one of those small micro decisions that, at the time, you don't really think much about, and then it comes to fuck you over. <laughs> yeah, never click OK too fast. Yeah, have a, have a little bit more think of it. But yeah, so, I mean, around the league, I still very much enjoy my list. Um, there's no changes that I would personally want to make as of yet. Um, what are your thoughts on what you saw, other than this guy is an absolute moron? <laughs> <laughs> that's not fair no it's true it's true so only sometimes only sometimes something about I... seeing a hand with dark ritual doomsday gets me uh, a little too excited, excited. <laughs> yeah um, i wouldn't call you a moron but this i'm sure there's a better german word for it, it yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> for sure <laughs> Yeah, but they uh, the decisions are questionable. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> to say it diplomatic. <laughs> yeah. So any any thoughts uh, at all on the list? Having yeah, seen it in action. You know I don't like four color, but hmm. that's the way you like it, so it's fine. Yeah. That's a good thing about Doomsday. You can play whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you have Dark Ritual Doomsday and Tessa's Oracle. So I always I always feel sorry for any new person who joins the Doomsday Discord because one of the first things that they often ask is what's the best list to play or what list should I play? And the answer is always whichever list you want. <laughs> it's like which and are, no which, we have no sideboard guide. <laughs> yeah, we, we, what you know, what what's the best colors to run? Well, blue and black. After that everything's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially nowadays, where you can pretty much play everything. Yeah. And to be honest, um, like with some of the Turbo Depths lists, having played a Doomsday sideboard, the blue is optional. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not, not in a traditional list, but yeah. Don't do this to me, please. <laughs> I need a card draw to, to inject into my veins. <laughs> <laughs> you need to, you know, say a, a small prayer to uh, Marcus of Alder before you draw your opening seven and hope <laughs> that, you know, enough predict-like effects have entered your hand yeah. as a result. Island, predict. <laughs> island, Me. island, draw card. Okay. Blessed be to Marcus. Or island, preordain, set up, predict, island, predict. <laughs> Marcus, if you're watching, we love you. Um... Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right well in which case if you've got no other points you want to go over we'll close nope. it up so thank you everyone at home for watching 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Obviously, you know, if you want to comment, comment or like, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't care. <laughs> Um, yeah, but we need very... engagement. It's true. Sorry. Uh, what's it? Smash the bell or any bell, <laughs> you know. Hit and visit our wiki. Oh yeah, Th that's a good point. You're better at this than I am. So yeah, um, if you want to know more, join. Uh, you know, come over to the Doomsday Discord. We're a lovely bunch of people, um, and we've also got the Doomsday Wiki. So you can either visit doomsday.wiki or ddft.wiki. Um, there's also like five other links that work that. Uh, Midland owns the <laughs> rights to, um, but I can't remember any of them. So yeah, you, you'll get there eventually. And it's basically got um, you know articles to uh, you know talk about the flavor of the month. It's got uh, guides on how to play the deck. It's got um, a very lovely matchup guide that you've recently added. Oh, it's I believe it's not live. At oh, the okay. Moment. Well, it, in which case, work in progress. It's still work in progress. So hopefully soon there will be a matchup guide that will be going up. Um, it's not it, it's not too descriptive because, as we said, your deck could contain almost anything. So it's general principles, which yeah. I think the TLDR for most of them is go fast, cast Doomsday, <laughs> <laughs> win. Yeah, just have the nuts. Just just yeah, have, have the nuts. Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, but yeah. So thank you very much, um, and I shall see you again for another video at some point. Thank you, Otto. Yeah. Have a lovely evening. You too. Thank you.